Hello everyone. Today we are building a very simple raised bed garden. The plan is to build two 8 by 4 foot beds adjacent to each other so that the total length is 16 by 4 feet. This will give us 64 square feet of growing space which is a nice size backyard garden. We have not grown outdoors in many years because of the wildlife here. Years ago I planted a 200 square foot cornfield, the harvest was looking great and we were planning a nice family barbecue with freshly harvested corn. The night before we were ready to harvest, the deer came and stripped the garden clean. We were devastated and I haven't planted an outdoor garden since then. So I've been planting as much as I can indoors, but it's been a long winter and I'm itching to plant something outside. This time in a raised bed that I'm going to protect with some sort of fencing to keep the deer out. We started out thinking small, just one 8 by 4 foot raised bed. Here you can see the finished bed. These are Douglas fir 2 by 12 boards I got from Home Depot. I bought two boards and had them cut into eight foot lengths, so four feet was left over, giving me an eight by four raised bed from the two boards. I decided to buy the 12 inch board so I could fill them with a good amount of soil and perhaps grow some root vegetables as well as tomatoes, cucumbers, and the like. We were looking for a simple build that we could take apart easily in case we decided to move the bed. As unlikely as that might be, Mostly we were looking for something simple to put together without too much fuss and we came across these planter wall blocks at Home Depot. So instead of drilling holes we could just fit the boards into these planter blocks and have a raised bed in no time. It was actually very very easy to slide the boards into the planter blocks. We needed to stack the planter blocks since we bought 12 inch high boards and the planter blocks are about 6 inches high. There is a hole in the middle of each block, so you could drive some rebar down the hole into the ground to anchor the corners, but each block is about 20 pounds, so two together is around 40 pounds of weight at each corner, which is a pretty good anchor. Here you can see one side done. The 2 by 12 boards of Douglas firs slide into the blocks very easily. You just have to make sure if you're stacking the blocks that they are lined up right. After we build the first bed, we realized that 8x4 was not enough for all the seeds I had started indoors. We would need another bed. So we connected another section adjacent to the first one. And now I have a 16x4 foot raised bed. Now the deer are not the only wildlife we have to worry about. There are plenty of other four-legged animals around. And of course we have groundhogs that like to burrow under the ground and dig up the garden. So we got this roll of wire to lay down as a barrier between the ground and our raised bed soil. Hopefully this wire is strong enough to deter the groundhogs. Then we laid down some cardboard boxes as another layer of barrier between the ground and our raised bed. We had planned to use landscape fabric, but I read somewhere that the landscape fabric doesn't allow the earthworms to penetrate, while the cardboard boxes will eventually break down and they allow the earthworms to get in. So even though we bought the landscape fabric, we decided to keep it for the perimeter of the bed. We will then put some mulch on top of the fabric to give us a nice walking path around the raised bed. Now it's time to fill the bed. There are so many options on what to fill the bed with. Many people advise on using some combination of vermiculite, peat moss, and compost. We found peat moss and this raised bed mix, so we decided to go with these, and then we will add some more bags of compost to the mix. So there you have our raised bed. So far the weather has been quite cool here. We are almost in June and today's high was 63 degrees. The plants are really not ready to come out yet. Also we will be amending the soil with some compost and I will update you through the summer as we plant. Oh, one more thing. We are not letting the deer get to our harvest this year. We're planning on building some sort of fencing or structure to protect the harvest this time, probably out of PVC and some sort of chicken wire or netting. Stay tuned for that. That was really easy to build. Thank you, Home Depot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments and suggestions below. And thank you for watching. Bye.